Tonight on Eorzean Hoarders, West contends with a hoarder of gear, gear, and even more gear. Look at all these weapons! Oh no, why do you have these here? Can he save this drowning alt from themselves, or will the mountainous weight fall on top of him? This will be West's greatest challenge yet. Why bother keeping this? See what happens in this shocking episode. Welcome to Aeorzean Hoarders. I'm your host, Wes Galber. I'm here to save the inventories and lives of adventurers all around Aeorzea. Those of you suffering from chronic hoarding are being crushed, but hope is not lost. Together we can conquer your hoarding. And for all of you watching, pay close attention and you too might be set free. Tonight we help out Jab, who has found their alt to be trapped under a mountain of items. But you know what they say about alts? They're an alternate you. So the normal inventory is probably just as messy, huh? So let's get to work, shall we? Starting off, we have the inventory, which, cleaner than mine, but makes sense for an alt. There is a few things I can criticize still, though. Other than the 15 T, which are an end game crafting item, which, why do you have these? Your crafters are only level 60. Was there no better crafting food you can get for a decent price? Anyway, aside from the tea, there's a lot of food from doing the main story. Why bother keeping this? You could sell it even to NPCs, buy a dozen meals of water, and still turn a profit. And boy does that sound messed up out of context. Put it on the market board and you can get way more water too. Check your market board and see for yourself. It might not sell fast, but are you selling much at all? Might as well get a couple extra gill. Now obviously a normal player probably doesn't have to penny pinch this much, but if you're struggling for guilt and inventory space, this is a very quick, very easy way to do it. Trade down your food into the cheapest food around. And those apples? Just sell those two. Now I was also provided a list of what every item is from this point on and what the uses might be. So I can say I almost agree with all the rest of the inventory. All this equipment is going to be used for things soon. Both classes and both jobs are about to hit the levels required for these to be equipped. Makes sense to keep them on hand. Normally I'd say to store them, or armory chest them. The relic meanwhile, do you even plan to finish this relic? It is an alt, and most people tend to not like the look of the monk relics. Just toss it otherwise. I say this even as a collector. If you aren't going to use it for glam or go all the way, it's not worth keeping. And finally, the commercial manuals. Fisher can make use of the gathering ones, but you're not even doing normal crafting. You fully admit you're only doing daily tribal quests. At least, like, grab a ton of logs on Botanist, craft them up into lumber on Carpenter, and sell it to make use of all those manuals. If you aren't going to use them, might as well just toss them. I applaud you for a clean inventory otherwise, but I know you wouldn't have asked me for help if all your inventories looked like this. So let's check your saddlebag. Oh dear. What are we doing here? Waiting to paint Old Doll with pride? And the monitorists, an even more disgusting brown, I suppose. Are you ever going to use half of these dyes? I'm sure your main could get you these if you needed. These can't sell that well on the market, right? Just sell yours off too and buy some if you ever need. It can't be worth keeping one paw of these reds. And a single Gilmoran pot shirt? Why though? That's not enough to buy much of anything. Are you even planning to go back? And all these housing items... Oh, oh dear. Some of these are purchasable from the Calamity Salvager. You don't even need to protect these items. They're simple to regain. Is your main on a different server or something? Carbuncle is great and all, but that Daneslef is definitely selling for the bare minimum on the board. They should be very easy to store in an apartment or just regain later. If you aren't going to get an apartment as an alt, why keep them? I doubt you want a house, and that would be for your main as well. I see that Fantasia, and you'd be a fool to toss it away, even if you never use it. That's too unique, and do not blame the lost slot. And all your materia? These are good. Low level crafter and gatherer materia are still useful even at level cap. There's some rare meld slots that you don't need a full grade 9 materia because you're going for one last point of CP or such. Saving all blue and green materia? Very smart if you intend to craft a gather. And if you do sell? Sell on patch days. 
That's when prices are highest, when everyone is trying to meld. Oh no, why do you have these here? You were on the right track and immediately tore it away. These fireworks are so easy to obtain and are probably one gil on the market board. And two Bojan coins? Two? The Alamegans of Old Daw wouldn't hold on to two Bojan coins, and most of them are struggling to survive. That's the monitor's fault mostly, but still. You can't even use these. Are you actively doing Bojia stuff? Only two seems like not. You'd keep them in your main inventory if you were. And these fibers too. Go sell them. If you're holding on to three, you've already maximized your holster. If you haven't, fine, keep them. But only if you do actually intend to be back to Bojia anytime soon. Gil is Gil. Alright, let's get into your retainers? What is all this? Look at all these weapons! There's so much here! Oh dear, oh dear. Welcome to the Cactar Fight! Or should I say the Gigantar? This episode is sponsored by twitch.tv slash Alber. Ow, I just hurt my back with that. Does this look fun to you? Come watch Wes Galba play many different games over on Twitch. Before our commercial break, Wes began to look through Drab's retainers. Will he be able to handle what he's going to find? Alright, let's get into your retainers? What is all this? Look at all these weapons! There's so much here! Oh dear, oh dear. Oh no. Oh no, it doesn't end. So much gear. So much gear. You even got all these accessories. Why? Oh, why? Alright, where do you begin? I guess with the bits and bobs between the gear, like that last page, all that stuff you could just be rid of. You have primal drops that sell for very little, and they're extremely easy to farm. You're level 81 at the least. That can solo in seconds. The Aether Oil? Do you intend to do animal weapons? I'd expect you to only do that on your main. Even I won't collect relics on alt. And I collect them all. These two Alligan Catalysts are also similar. They're free money. No point in holding on to them if you have no plan. These craft items are relatively expensive. I assume these are for the level 60 goldsmith quest? I seem to recall those being needed. Or maybe the Alchemist quest? If not for those, why hold on to them? Also, I saw those king cakes and mirrors. Really? Do you really intend to do relics? I don't think so. Otherwise, you'd be much happier about having that Shadowbringer's relic. Alright, so, all this gear. How do we chop this down? You clearly intend to level everything, and I mean everything. I just wanted to level all my jobs. I didn't know why Wesk was so surprised at all the gear. Seems pretty normal. If I want to hit level 90, I need to gear up to level 90. Who doesn't have all this gear? Okay, so tell me, what is your plan beyond leveling everything? You mentioned your armory chest is full of tank gear, so I assume that is first. Grind up your Dark Knight, then Paladin and Dark Knight up to 82. Then you have everything in Endwalker levels. Meanwhile, choose what you want to level last. Scouting? Ranged? I would say mages last. Ranged and ninja share accessories, so you'd want to level them relatively close together. Dragoon? Do immediately after tanks, because it shares no other gear with any jobs. Your other strength jobs are all higher level already. This will get you through your gear without tossing out all of it and freeing up a ton of room. And you can free up a ton now. We just have to get rid of your mage gear. We just have to be rid of it. When he said I need to get rid of my magic DPS gear, I couldn't handle it. I collected all that gear to make the leveling process smooth. How could I just get rid of it? It's very much compendable to be making sure you have all the gear ready for jobs as you level them. 
You'll be doing as much DPS as possible and healing and all with having as much gear as possible. But getting everything so soon is just too soon. Consider how many Grand Company seals you'll be missing out on. You could turn that into cordials, repair matter, or even gill with selling stuff like borax. And that's instead of stuff like the king cakes. Which again, are you even going to do these relics? You can free yourself from some misery and get different stuff that will actually benefit you in the short and long term. Then when you're leveling your healers or doing the range DPS grind, you can start to re-pick up the mage gear. Don't forget that leveling dungeons give 100% guaranteed drops. You can even toss out a ton of these accessories for other roles. The upgrades are the smallest and you're guaranteed to get them back within one or two runs either by the drops themselves, or the 100% guaranteed drops from clears. You should either prepare gear based on level brackets, or whole roll at a time. All other gear you can safely toss. At least get rid of the crafted gear coffers. What do you need white oak gear for when you already have a tombstone gear? And dungeon gear? You got so caught up on preparing for dungeons, you ended up grabbing gear weaker than tombstones. Come on, you could just clean up and get so many benefits. Free yourself from the clutter. You can do this. Be strong. Just following one of the suggestions can put your storage in order and save you from yourself. It's time to let go. It's time to stop hoarding. In the months after Wesk's intervention, Jab was often seen in dungeons leveling their jobs. She seems to be rolling on several pieces of gear, but whether this was to be added to the pile or sent to the Grand Companies to use is unknown. The road to improvement is a long process, and we hope her efforts lead to a successful recovery. Thanks for watching Eorzean Hoarders. Subscribe for more, and for more properly structured guides. Support the show and the channel with my Patreon. Can also follow my Twitch where I'll be playing lots of other games including all the Final Fantasies. Can follow my Twitter for random updates or commentary. Take care and may the power of Anna de Hogsley Waste to your inventory. In addition, thank you to everyone who submitted for this series, and an extra special thanks to all my patrons. Thank you in particular to Astrid Weller, Ayman Al Khatib, Benjamin Hahn, Benjamin Haynes, Benjamin Rice, Sadia Diosasan, Cyrix, Ethan Olson, Ethan W, Fraser97, James Hall, Jericho, Kevin Lowe, Mizella, Nick Griffin, T Rogue, Timmy, and Zero Two. See you all for next episode.